Okay, let's take a look at example one. We're going to use Euler's method to approximate the value of a function y at x equals 2 on the curve that satisfies the differential equation given below, dy dx equals 2x, where y equals 0 when x equals 0. So in other words, the initial condition point is 0, 0. We're going to set up a table, and in addition to that, we actually need to determine a um, a delta x to use. Um, in this case, I'm just going to set that delta x to be 1, but in most of the problems that you'll do, you'll be either told what delta x is or you'll be given information to help you determine what it should be. But we're going to choose delta x to be 1. So first of all, let's put a little table together. Our first column in the table is going to be the ordered pairs that we have and we're going to start with the initial condition point. So we know the curve goes through 0, 0. And in fact, um, we can put that point on the graph here as our starting point. And the uh, next column is going to be dy dx. And we'll figure out what the slope is using the formula up here for that. And then we'll have a column that will determine the approximate delta y using what we came up with in the previous page of the previous video, dy dx times delta x. Okay, finally we'll come up with a new y value. So this will be our new y value. And the new y value is going to be the old y value plus this delta y that we came up with. So that's going to be our last column. Now, um, before we get started, in this example, we happen to know what the general solution of this differential equation is. So let's just quickly write that over here. We know that that is going to be y equals x squared plus c. Okay, we came up with that in the previous page. Okay, now we can find out what the c should be. We can find the exact value that c should have in order for this to work. Putting 0 in for y and 0 in for x we see that c has to be 0. Our particular solution here is y equals x squared. So let me actually draw that in on the graph in blue. So we've got a point here at 0, 0, a point at 1, 1, a point at 2, 4. We know these points are on the graph. We know that it's going to come up through that point and then keep going on up. And in fact, we know the exact value of y at x when x is 2 should be 4. So that's what we're going to compare this with. So y of 2 is equal to 4. OK, so now we're going to go ahead and use Euler's method. And we'll use the table and the differential equation to figure out what Euler's method would give us. So at the point 0, 0, what is the slope given to us by this differential equation? Well, it's 2 times the x-coordinate, 2 times 0, or 0. OK, well, <clears throat> taking that and multiplying by our delta x of 1, we get here 0 times 1, or 0, for our change in y. Our old y was 0. We're going to add 0, our, new, our delta y, to get our new y of 0. If we have our delta x of 1, we're starting with x equals 0. We're going to add 1 to that to get our next x-coordinate. Our new y-coordinate comes from over here. So we have 1, 0 as our second point. That point is right here on the graph. Notice we use the uh, tangent line and travel along the tangent line to the curve right there, one unit to the right, to get our approximation of the curve. Now notice it's already not measuring up to the curve. It's not where it should be. But now we're going to take a reading of the slope field again to see what direction we should go from here. So we're going to get a little further away. Yeah, again, it's a propagated error situation, but we're going to begin to follow the curve, as you'll see. So at the point 1, 0, what is the slope of the curve? So dy dx equals 2 times the x-coordinate of 1, or 2. Okay, 2 times delta x, or 1, gives us a change in y of 2. 
We take that value, add it to the old y of 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. Now we get 1 plus 1 is 2. We're adding delta x here to our old uh, x value. 2 comma 2 is our output value. Now that's where we wanted to get an answer for, right? We ask when x equals 2, what is our y value? Well, Euler's method says when x is 2, the y value will be approximately 2. Now let's just see how it did over here. So 2, 2 is the second point on here. Notice we have a slope here of 2, and so we're going to be coming up here to this point. And it's sort of got the same shape as the curve, but we're certainly not doing too well. The error here of this particular approximation is for this value minus the value we got of 2 gives us an error of 2. Not terribly impressive. So how can we improve this approximation? How can we do better with Euler's method, following the curve more tightly? How do we be able to do that? Yes, that's exactly right. We're going to use a smaller value of delta x. So let's try this process again with delta x equal to 0.5. If you think you know what we've done here, you could try to do this before we go to the next stage. In other words, you could hit the pause button, uh, try it yourself, and then look at what we do on the next page. OK, so now we're going to try this again, the same problem, but this time we're going to have delta x be equal to 0.5. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our table together. We've got our x comma y column. We can put these x values in, in this case, starting with 0, 0. We actually know the y coordinate there. Let's put our x coordinates in all the way down. So we have 0 0.5 comma something, 1 comma something, 1.5 comma something, and 2 comma something. We know when we get to 2, we'll be done. That's where we're trying to find the y value at. Okay, the next column is our dy dx column. Our next column is our approximation of delta y using dy dx times our delta x. And then finally, we've got our new y column. That's the old y plus delta y. Okay, it may not be a bad idea to write down dy dx here. dy dx equals 2x. And while we're at it, why don't we graph the graph of x squared here that we're trying to approximate. So I've changed it a little bit to make it easier to put these points on here. I've got the 0.5 and the 1.5 on here, and it's not quite to scale now. But we've got 0, 0, we've got 1, 1, and we've got 2, 4 points on this graph, and actually at 0.5 it will be 0.25, right? So we could actually go through the, that 0 0.2. 2. 1.5 it should be 2.25, so somewhere around here. Okay, and that's y equals x squared that we've just drawn in. Okay, now we're going to get the approximation using Weathers method. So again, Euler's method uses the tangent line at each point and will sort of progressively approximate the function. Uh, we know we're starting at 0, 0, and we know the slope at 0, 0 is 0. So it's going to have a 0 change in y, 0 times 0 0.5. And here it's going to be 0 plus 0 or still 0. So 0 0.50, as before, will be our second point. Still has a 0 y coordinate. Move over, horizontal, tangent to the curve right there at the original point. Okay, now we're not on the curve, but we still have a slope field that we're in, and we're going to use the slope of the differential equation here to determine which uh, way to go next, and it's going to follow the curve roughly, chase the curve a bit. So here we've got 2 times x. 2 times 0 0.5 gives us 1. 1 times <coughs> 0.5 is 0.5 for our change in y. Adding 0.5 to 0, we get 0.5. Okay, that comes down here, 0 0.5.
<clears throat> so 1 comma 0 0.5 right about here okay and we graph that in we see we've got the Euler approximation it's coming up toward the curve but it's not exactly on we've got some error Okay, now we put the 1, the x value in to the dy dx. 2 times 1 gives us a slope of 2. 2 times 0.5 gives us a change in y of 1. We add 1 to 0.5, the old y value. We get 1.5. So at 1.5, we will have a y value of 1.5. So 1.5, 1.5. Can we draw this in? just a straight segment here going up and again it's sort of following the curve but you know not terribly impressive yet okay then we put 1.5 in times 2 or 2 times 1.5 gives us dy dx or a slope of 3 3 the slope times the change in x the 0.5 gives us 1.5 we add the 1.5 to the old y value which happens to be 1.5 and we get for our new y value 3. That's where we end. X is 2 now. We're looking for that value. So 2 comma 3. We're right here. And our curve uh, is certainly being sort of followed by this Euler's method curve, but or series of segments, but it certainly got an error still. Note that this time our error is 4 minus 3 or 1. This is our error. Okay, one, better than two, but still not terribly impressive. Our answer here would be when x is two, y is approximately three. Clearly, it's not equal to three, as we've seen, it's equal to four. But what we can do to do this better is to use a smaller change in x. And if we use a small enough change in x, it will actually seem to follow this quite well, and the error can be made quite quite small. There are actually also better estimation techniques that can be used here, improvements on the Euler's method that give even better results here. So let's take a moment to look at this on an Excel worksheet that I've made. Okay, so we're going to look in here at Euler's method in a specific example. We happen to have dy dx equals 2x already in the, for the differential equation up here. And now what we can do is um, and we have the actual particular solution graphed here, um, y equals x squared, that we can compare it to. We've got the initial condition of 0, 0 in, and right now it's got the delta x set at 0 0.5. We'll be able to change that to something else. And what we can do is um, to have this play one step at a time. So let me have it go to uh, the next step. So notice it gives us 0 0.50, and it will draw it in on the graph over here. So next step. And we see it right there. Next step, next step. So we have two, three. And we see just like what we had in our uh, graph or our table out, out before, all the things are here just like we had there. Now what I'm going to do is to actually change this value to a smaller value. So um, let me put in a different number here. Let me backspace and put in uh, point, uh, one see what happens. So press enter on that and notice initially it changed these values so that we didn't get very far. We're at 0.4 here. So now we can go next step, next step, next step and so on. See we're not there yet. Oops, looks like I went past it but that's okay. Let's go down and take a look at our values. At 2 we see we got 3.8 right here. And so that is very close to 4. It's off by 0.2 this time. And so with 0.1, we had an error of 0.2. You sort of see a, a pattern for this function. Uh, it's not always the same, but because of the nature of this function, that was our error. It's twice the delta x that we use. All right, well, let's see. If we wanted to even get closer, we could use 0.01 and so on. You get the idea. All right, let me reset this and we could put in uh, a different initial point. It won't correspond to this function, so we're going to take that function and get rid of it. Uh, let's say our initial point was 0, um, zero 0.2.
and now we can go through and try this out uh, next step next step next step and so on and we see where we're ending up we're starting at 0 2 and we're going up through the slope field and it does a fairly good job of following the slope field but uh, we know it's off based on what our experience is but it's close to the actual curve we could hide the points if we wanted to that's a option down here and we get a fairly decent approximation of the curve through the slope field with this example using Euler's method. Alright, let's go back and try another example in our notes. So we're going to use 